What's up guys, welcome back. Sadly, we're not doing a baby goat video today, but they're all doing good. They're in the barn playing with their mamas. We let them out in the pasture, so they're out running in the field like a bunch of crazies. However, I know you guys love them, so I will put a bunch of baby clip at the end with them running around being silly, how about that? But yeah, so today we're doing a soap video. Uh, Bob is back, it's summertime, so no more soap and hoodie. Doors open, got the windows open. So you might hear some chickens. Fun fact, roosters don't just crow in the morning. It's all day long and it's really, anyway. So what we're doing today is we're gonna start our coffee bar collection. Everybody's been asking for a coffee soap. So right now we have three soaps, three different designs and three different coffee fragrances. We're gonna do the Senna Colombian Cafe. I've already made some test batches. So I'm gonna tweak a couple little things with that and then hope this one will turn out better. Our other fragrance is Cafe Caramel or Caramel. You can comment below, I know. I say caramel. And then we're gonna do uh, French vanilla. So all three are nature's garden fragrances. So today we're doing the Senna Colombian Cafe. Let me just read off the notes. Fresh brewed Colombian coffee. That's your top notes. Smells really good. Mid notes is cinnamon. And then the base notes are interesting to me because it's butter, Brazil nuts, maple, and vanilla. Think about all those scents together. It's fantastic. So yeah, so that's what we're gonna be making today. And then tomorrow we'll do, it has to sit for 24 to 48 hours to cure. We generally do a 24 hour cure. I don't have an issue with that. We'll come back in 24 hours and we'll cut it and you'll get to see the, the finished product. I'll go over everything in case there's any noobs. So hopefully the sound quality is better. Um, new camera. I know the last one was a little muffled. So we're stepping up because of you guys and your awesomeness and everybody ordering, local people ordering. We're building towards craft shows for this year. The Etsy shop getting hit pretty hard. The local buyers uh, reaching out and buying soap and then front loading for the craft shows. Thank you guys, it's been awesome, appreciate it. Finally getting the Etsy shop back up. So say all that to say this, stepping it up a little bit. We used to use these little tubs. These are about a half a gallon is all I can fit in there. So now we've stepped up to the big boys. I'm never going to compromise design and quality. I can use these big containers to double batch some of the more simple soaps, but if it requires me to go back and use the, the smaller containers so that it looks the way that we plan the design, then that's what we'll do. And we'll just, we'll struggle through that and we're going to punch it out the way it should be. And that's the only way we do it. Enough of that blabbering on. Oh, always, every time guys. If you haven't yet, go click all the buttons, like, subscribe, thumbs up, tell a friend, tell a neighbor, tell a stranger, share us on your social media, follow us on social media. If you have questions about anything that I'm doing in the process, what I'm using, cause I like my last video, I was like, oh, I'll call everything out so you know what I'm, what it is. Well, then I forgot to call out a couple things. So I might forget, I'll try to call out everything again. Uh, but if you have questions, just throw them in the comments. What's this, what's that, what are you using it for? Also, feel free to count the number of times little missing that it runs through, bye. Okay, so the big tub, we have a couple little tub, uh, titanium dioxide, which is our white, a handy dandy stick blender, fragrance oil, things to measure things, and a slew of containers. Also, every single one of our soaps, guys, base is olive oil, coconut oil, goat's milk from our ladies, and lye. We also have our kitchen scale and our gram scale, the molds, and an array of spatulas. Let's do it. That was dumb. I'll never say that again. Let's do it. So this is our ice bath. What we do is cold process soap. So when I pour, if I pour the lye straight into the frozen milk cubes, if I take too long in that process, it's gonna burn that milk and it's gonna change it a nasty color. As you'll see at the end result of this soap, that's not a problem because this fragrance oil that we're using today has a pretty high level of uh, vanilla in it. When we use a fragrance oil that has vanilla in it, we use a vanilla stabilizer. It keeps the vanilla from changing the, the soap to a nasty brown. However, in this soap, since it's coffee, we want it to, to brown out so it looks like coffee. So we're not gonna do anything with that. We'll just let everything react like it does and uh, we'll keep the end result color, which you'll see tomorrow is a really, really nice, dark, rich brown. Looks just like coffee, it's amazing. Okay, moving on. Oh, and we have giant coffee. Goat's milk. Lie. Get this started first and then it makes the process go a little quicker. Oh, a little more quickly. I cut this down for you guys. Like I usually speed uh, speed up the video because this takes about 20 minutes. So if you see it go from cubes to liquid, I just cut all that out. When the lye interacts with the moisture, it starts generating heat and that heat will melt the milk cubes, turning them into uh, liquid. We will move on to oils.
fragrant soil. What I forgot to mention, guys, was fresh ground coffee for the top. This is dark French roast Arabica or Arabica. I don't pretend to know everything, guys. I don't know. How do you say it? Somebody throw it in the comments. So this ground that's going to go on the top for cutes. Each bar will get its own little coffee bean. Olive oil, coconut oil, melted down. Do, 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 do. So how long does this take? I shouldn't put my face that close. I've had time to scoop the oils, melt the oils, measure out my fragrance oil, chit chat about coffee, ground, and beans. I ran over and put the goats away because the babes are out and I don't want them to freak out when the storm comes through and just run in some weird direction, not towards the barn. And also went in and closed up the rabbit barn. Finished my oils, used the bathroom, which you won't see, and we're still just keep stirring, 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 stir, stir, stir. Okay, sodium lactate. That goes in with your lye water solution or in our case, lye milk solution to help harden your bar. You can put it in at any part of the process. And remember, this is the point of no return. So think about what you're doing and I'll tell you why. I need to make sure that I pour off enough. We're gonna do a white swirl and with the natural color that the soap will turn out because I do not want fragrance oil in the white part of the soap because I don't want it reacting and turning some weird color. We'll only put the uh, fragrance oil on the side that we want to have that reaction. My brain's running a little slower too, guys, because I'm not used to, I've only used these big containers a couple times, so I'm still having to think through some processes. And when you're concentrated on everything else, it kind of starts to cloud up the brain a bit. That's all in. We're gonna stick blend. <laughs> Very light trace. We always use light trace. Still trying to figure out what light trace is in this giant tub. I know exactly what light trace is in those, in the smaller containers. It's just locked in my brain. These guys, I'm still trying to figure out, making sure that I got a good blend on the oil lye combination and that I don't over whip it. So I don't kick off that chemical reaction. All right, so I'm gonna pour off the amount I need for the white. Now this is going in. And this does some interesting stuff. You can see an almost immediate reaction. Of course it's not gonna do it because I said it was gonna do it. Ah, there it is. You can see the white, kind of the white shimmery swirl starting in it. And that's okay. In this soap, that's okay. That's what we want. We wanna let it brown out. Now, in this case, I don't wanna increase my trace. So I'm gonna hand stir the uh, oil into it. If I wanted to increase how fast the soap was gonna set up, I'd go ahead and stick blend it after I put the oil in there. Now I'm gonna pour off another batch. That I'm gonna blend with that. And you guys, it'll make sense in a minute. The same amount. So we're equal parts of white and the dark brown. Now I need to know how much is in here by weight, and I'm gonna split it off into these two molds. Zero out the empty container that's the same size and weight. I'm gonna split that in half, zero that out, and I'm gonna pour equal parts in each mold. Set this off. I don't need to weigh this one. I know what's left is half of what was in there. While I'm doing this, you guys out there have kids in the marching band. Just want to give a shout out to the marching band peeps. You rock. The show choir kids, the drama kids. You guys are the best. Keep on keeping on. You guys are out there. Give a shout out to your kids, man. Leave it in the comments. Okay, so we now have two equal batches there. I'm gonna hit this with the uh, titanium dioxide or titanium dioxide. If you have three hours, you can try to stir that in by hand. It's not friendly. Now there were some comments that this particular oil riced up or seized up or sped up trace. I've had no issues with that at all. So many factors, you know, humidity, environment. I mean, maybe down to how much fat is in your goat's milk. Your goat's milk changes. It's gonna start out a lot more water and then it's gonna transition throughout the year into more butter fat. This is the fun part. So we're just gonna keep doing layers and layers of the white and then what's gonna be the dark brown. This is the fun part of playing with soap right here, guys. If you left before this part of the video, sorry. You missed the cool part. I did a very, very dumb thing. Uh, we might be in trouble, guys. 
What I needed to do before I poured the batter into these molds, after I separated everybody out, I needed to beat that to almost solid uh, because I'm gonna pour that on top of it. And the only way I can do that and making it in one process is to make sure that that is accelerated ahead of this. Right now, this is curing at the same rate that this is curing, but I need to pour on top of this. This is not going to turn out well. Well, let me see if I can do something stupid that I've never done before, which... Yeah, this probably is not gonna work out well. Well, this might work out. Well, sometimes you uh, you gotta solve for X. So that's what we did. Um, we'll see how it turns out. This should firm up a lot faster than that now. This oil doesn't cause any issues, so this should this should stay okay. The problem would have been, if I tried to pour this on top of this when it was soft, it would have just cut right down through and it would have swirled all inside the soap and that's not what I want. You'll see the end result and you'll understand what I'm talking about. What we're trying to do is make this look like it's a cup of coffee up to here. And then if you can see the picture on the bottle there, we're gonna spoon whip this up into a little, uh, almost like a froth on top of the coffee. It's just the jiggle test. If you tap it in, it jiggles. You might not wanna pour on top of it. I think this is firm enough on top now, both of these. Let me move this one out of the way. So what I'm gonna do is put my spoon in here. I don't wanna pour this right on top of that or it'll just penetrate through the top layer. Now this is starting to set up on me, so it might not swirl as well as I want it to. But if you do a little uh, spoon drop like this, I'll get a little in this one. There's no need to mess with this because we're gonna fluff the top of this anyway. It's gonna probably take 20 minutes for this to set. And normally what I would do is just go ahead and jump into another batch. I don't wanna get a bunch of stuff cluttered in here and then have to bring this back in and do that. So just let this set so it's firm enough that I can spoon it and then we'll dress it up, make it pretty. I like to make it pretty. Hey right, guys, so it's been about 25 minutes. It took a little longer than I anticipated, but I had to finagle with it a little bit off camera to see if it was ready. So what we're gonna do is just just gonna spoon whip this up like this. This will make more sense when you see the finished result. I gotta be careful if I get this too high in the middle, I won't be able to get it in my shipping box. And all you lovely people are gonna want this soap, right? Let me just flatten that out a tiny bit there. We'll just do the same thing with this one. This is just coffee. Now we're gonna do beans. If you look at the mold, you'll see these, these cut lines. So when I put this on the uh, cutter, you'll see me cut. It'll essentially be right on those lines. When I add the coffee beans, I wanna add those between those cut lines, just so they're not in the way when I'm cutting. You'll see that tomorrow when we cut this. We don't mess around, guys. Coffee soap has real coffee. Oatmeal milk and honey has real oats in it, real honey. The eucalyptus mint soap has mint that we grow right here on the farm. Three kinds, chocolate mint, peppermint, spearmint. If we can add it, we do. It makes it nice, it makes it special. You're paying a lot for a bar of soap, it should be, it should be nice. Now 
Okay. You guys like it? So we'll come back tomorrow and we'll cut and then you'll be able to see what it looks like inside. I have a batch that's already been curing so you can see how, how dark it's gonna get when it cures out more. It's really dark, guys. So we'll see you back here tomorrow. So it's shameless plug time. What inspired me to start making soaps was a soap maker named Katie Carson. She is Royalty Soaps. She is amazing. You guys go check her out. Here's the shameless plug part. Maybe tell her I sent you. Maybe she'll watch my channel like once and then be like, hey, cool soaps or something. <laughs> But no, if you if you really want to see, she does amazing, amazing work. If you want to see more cool soap, you know, go go give her channel a watch. Katie Carson, Royalty Soaps. Welcome back. It has been 24 hours since we made the coffee bar soap. We'll get it cut, see what's inside. Then I'll show you the bar from the original batch so you can see how much that's darkened up already. All right, guys, so this is one of yesterday's batches. I lay this sideways in the mold because if I cut this like this, it's going to drag all the coffee right down through the soap and it's going to leave nasty little drag lines all throughout. So let's trim off our end. That's still not what I want, guys. It's getting better. That's really, really nice. What I want is for this swirl to start further down, like down here somewhere. And I don't know why. It's just my personal preference. Someday, y'all, I'm gonna get a real soap cutter. I can cut all 10 bars at one time. This isn't the blend, but that was my inspiration for that. Oh, see, it's nice on the back. I feel like that's far enough down for me. And just something about it, just, I just want it to be like right there and that'll drive me crazy until I, until I get it right. I guess that's doing right or wrong. It's just, I had an image in my brain that I wanted it to look like. Okay, so when you see this, and you see this swirl, and you saw how we poured the, poured the layers into the bucket, and then when you drop that, that all just kind of swishes around in there and creates, you know, a unique swirl. Okay guys, so this is yesterday's batch, and this is the previous batch. This is as dark as that's gonna go at this point. Um, I've made this, I think, two weeks ago. But it looks nice, right? It's like a little coffee color. This is what I was trying to correct for. My first batch, this was way too high. I wanted it to be lower, and I achieved that. But I still think just like a tiny bit more. So that's coffee bar soap number one. Cool, that's it for today. Don't forget to like, subscribe, thumbs up, share, tell a friend, tell a neighbor, tell a stranger, tell your mom. Hi, mom, watch my videos. Yeah, that's it for today, guys. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.